Indeed, it is a big challenge of implementing psychological and behavioral theory in these artificial agents. But increasingly we are getting better at it. And we are now far beyond the level of these simple optimizing agents. We are capable of implementing all kinds of theories on different levels in these artificial agents. We can implement, for example, cognitive processes of learning, forgetting, motivation and cognitive dissonances. But when we think about the interaction between agents, we can implement ideas about persuasive processes. Who is motivated to talk and who is actually listening to somebody else? And on top of that, the level of networks, sociology, can also be addressed in these models. Who is connecting with who and what ties are broken when there is a conflict? This all can be captured with the term generative social science, as mentioned by Josh Epstein. A social science that is capable of growing phenomena. And these phenomena are important because we deal with a lot of societal challenges. Challenges related to, for example, dealing with biodiversity degradation, or with climatic change, or with managing a pandemic. And of course it's very tempting to talk about the predictive capacity of these kinds of models. But we have to be really modest with that. Well, you know, when we talk about weather forecast, our time horizon for predictions is about 10 days. Beyond that, it's too complex to make predictions. And you can imagine when we talk about the real complex situations of human societies, that we really should be modest about our capacity to predict future state of our society. What we do can is get a better understanding of the social dynamics that are so important. Learning more about the dynamics of our own species can help us explore what kind of policies might be effective in changing our course and letting us behave in a better way. And I think we are on the way of developing better models that are better capable of helping us in doing that.